Hi, this is Caitlin Springer, teaching artist with the Florida Orchestra. Today we're going to be going over the 11th and 12th grade all county requirements, including our G major and E flat major two octave scales with arpeggios and the excerpt from Holst's Fantasia. So let's get started with our G major scale. I'm going to put on my metronome 152. G major, one, two, oh, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Major, one, two, ready, go. Thankfully, we're going to turn our metronome down to 132 for the Fantasia. One, Two, oh, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Now you might be wondering those double dashed um, dotted quarter notes. Yeah, those are gonna go so fast, it's practically like tremolo. So don't worry so much about that. Just to make sure that your left hand is super clear. Try to put a little bit of a zing on the beginning of each of those notes. And you'll notice I'm kind of in the upper half of my bow because it's easier up there. So I'm gonna do uh, what's easy, especially as we do the crescendo, we could do that with using more bow. So being in the upper half of the bow is gonna make it a lot easier. Now, the other thing about this excerpt is that sudden drop from fortissimo to piano out of nowhere. So how are we gonna do that? Well, let's see how soft we could play the, um, the piano part. So let's just look at that part where it says piano. We're gonna keep the same tempo, practice this with the metronome, and non legato. So we're gonna keep the same bow stroke too. Let's try this out as soft as you can. One, two, ready, go. So what are we going to do before that now? We're going to try to play huge, right? We're going to start six like this. One, two, ready, go. So I'm going to be playing with a lot of bow speed. I'm going to be trying to be really, really nicely into the string. So knowing where I want to get to at that piano is going to really, really help because I have to get there all of a sudden. Let's do that two measures before and then let's freeze. Like freeze, for real. All right, let's try it out. This is two measures before the piano. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> And now let's play the piano part the same way we just played it earlier. One, two, ready, go. So now we have to get those two plugged together. Let's reduce the space in between that freeze. We're still gonna freeze, but let's do like two beats of rest and then go on. Let's try it out. So this is two measures before the piano. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. So that's how I did four beats. Let's reduce it down to two. One, two, ready, go. One, two. All right, let's reduce it down to one beat. One, two, ready, go. One. All right, let's see if we could get it seamless. So you're gonna feel like you're falling off of a cliff. So see if you could really make that difference. You really, really, really gotta try your hardest to do that. Let's go two before the piano. One, two, ready, go. All right, that's 
something. So that's one way that you could practice that. That's what I would do. You freeze before you hit the subito dynamic, and then you take time, you find that subito dynamic. You freeze before the subito dynamic, you do four beats of rest, and then play the subito dynamic. Freeze, two beats of rest, subito dynamic. Freeze, one beat of rest, subito dynamic, just like we just practiced it. So that's one way that you could practice it. I would really like to see how well you guys handle this tremolo and how well you could do that piano. I want to feel like I'm falling off of a cliff when I hear that part. I really look forward to it. You guys are going to be awesome and I will see you later.